Hey guys, it is Tuesday and that means it is time for a grocery haul. Now, for the month of October, I did plan out as many meals as I could, at least the meals that I knew I wanted to film and share with you guys. So I already picked up a lot of the pantry items, shelf stable items, things that last, you know, fairly long time up front. So if you guys missed that monthly haul, I will have it linked in the description box. So this one, I used Walmart delivery. There were a few things out of stock. So I think my total was about 130, but as soon as I get that email telling me what my totals were, I will have that in the description box as well. So you guys can see, I only got two non-food items, but let me go ahead and turn you down to my dining room table and share with you what I got delivered from Walmart to help us out and get through another week. So here is the spread and I will pop up prices. Oh, I also got a few things that had a rebate and I don't know if I've tried out with Walmart. If you are logged into your Ibotta account, they automatically give you the discount even though you're not shopping in store and you don't have your receipt. So hopefully it might take a couple days, but if I do already have that in by the time I'm editing this video, then I will leave that in the description box as well, what I was able to save. I do have Polly, well, I was gonna say joining me, but now she's leaving, <laughs> so I guess she's a little camera shy. Uh, but anyway, I tried to keep most of the produce right here, but let's just talk about what I'm most excited about. So once I saw that this was on the website and it was allowing me to put in the cart, I went ahead and put two, just totally assuming that I wasn't gonna get either of them, but they were both delivered. So I was very excited about that. My kids have been out of Gatorade for weeks now. And like I said, they're going to be excited about the Gatorade. So I got the two different packs with three flavors each. So these are the 12 ounce bottles. I don't like the bigger bottles for my kids because um, especially for Rose, she only drinks about half a bottle a day or the days that they have one, she only drinks about half. So this is the Zero Sugar Thirst Quencher. There's 18 in here, six of the orange, six grape, six fruit punch. Same thing for this bottom pack here, uh, except for the flavors are different. So there's six Glacier Freeze, six Glacier Cherry, and then six Berry. Okay, now we can talk about some produce. So I have quite a bit here. I did get some green grapes. I got some baby spinach. This is actually for several different recipes. Some Italian parsley, green onions, basil. I actually might need some more basil. Oh, hold on, Lily, get down. Don't eat my parsley, I need that. I might need some more basil. I just need to open this up and count how many leaves are in here because I need quite a bit. <laughs> I've got some jalapenos here, baby carrots, and then I opted for, I did pay a little bit more for these, but I needed them to be big. I am gonna share the meal plan after the grocery haul, so you guys gonna see why I need them big. And I love this the, the two pack of the organic ones when you're not cutting these open or like chopping them up. So I did get three packs of um, the two in a pack organic zucchini. I got a bag of onions. I need this for quite a few things as well as one really big head of garlic. I do have some frozen garlic and garlic in the little squeezy tube thing in my fridge, but I wanted fresh garlic for a few things that I am making. I got a two pound pack of strawberries because I am making lunches for the kids this week. So we definitely go through um, fruits and veggies more when I'm packing their lunches versus when they're eating at school. One red bell pepper for a recipe, one red onion for a recipe. I got a bag of avocados. We're going to be making some guacamole. So I got those and hopefully, I'm actually we're gonna be making guacamole tomorrow. So I don't know. I don't know if those are gonna be good or not, but we shall see or ready. I got four bananas and then a big bag of a salad or a big container. This is the 16 ounce because I want this to last more than one dinner. And it is the organic spring mix with baby lettuce and baby greens. It's already washed and ready to eat. I think that's it. Yes, for the produce. So now we're gonna go back here. This was one thing that I saw on Ibotta. So I picked up the pumpkin spice flavored butter last week 
and it is so good. I've had it several times. This one is the Maple Me Crazy, and it is by Lando Lakes. It is a maple brown sugar butter spread, limited batch just for this time of year. So I went ahead and got that, and then hopefully, like I said, um, with using the Walmart delivery and Ibotta, I hope that that little you know, bit comes back so I get a little bit of cash back. Not the end of the world if I don't. Need some heavy whipping cream for several recipes, so I didn't really count everything or measure everything that I needed it for, so I hope that this bigger one is enough, otherwise I might pick up an extra one. I got some Kraft shredded Parmesan cheese. This is actually on Ibotta as well. Then a small can of diced cream, green chilies. I got some more sour cream. We do still have sour cream left over from the one, the big one that I picked up last week, but I need this whole 16 ounce container for something and more sour cream. So I just went ahead and picked up a new 16 ounce container for what I am doing with that. And then I've got the other sour cream for other items. Some microwavable mac and cheese. <laughs> this is gonna go, I'm actually doing something fun with this mac and cheese for the kids for lunch. Um, and we are out of <laughs> microwavable mac and cheese. So I went ahead and got just a four pack. So we'll have one left over because I do have three younger kids that I pack lunches for, for school. I did need, because you know, new recipes um, that I'm thinking about and adding to the meal plan, I needed some more shelf stable items. So I went ahead and picked a few things up. I'm making some desserts, some keto desserts. And when you guys see the meal plan, you'll see we're gonna have some keto dinners. I needed some things for that. So I got some organic unsweetened coconut flakes and I also got this unsweetened coconut cream. I'm really excited about these desserts as well as some coconut extract. So you can see the theme for one of the desserts there. And then last week when I shared the grocery haul, I picked up some frosting and I was talking about how most of the time I like one and a half ish jars or containers of frosting. I feel like that's a good amount um, when you're making cakes and cupcakes and things like that. So we always have a little bit leftover frosting and my kids love to just spread it on graham crackers. And sometimes depending on what type of fruit we have, they will add fruit on top and it's super yummy. So we did not have any graham crackers in the pantry. So I did go ahead and add the honey made graham crackers. And then this is also on Ibotta and I I'm typically I drink at least one cup of coffee, but I feel like the last two weeks I've had two cups of coffee every day. So I'm definitely going through it a lot faster and we're almost out again. And I'm not the only one in the house that drinks coffee. So it's not just me, but this just sounded really good. So this is like the McDonald's one, the McCafe. It is a limited edition. So for the holidays and it's toffee almond, 24 K cups in there. So that just sounded really good. I wanted to give it a try. And then coming down here, we've got just one little like meat item and then some dairy. So this was a substitution. I had the diced ham, which is just a little smaller in my cart and they couldn't find it. So they substituted me for the cubed ham. So I'll just dice this up. I do want this a little smaller. It's going in a dip. So I'm going to dice this up a little bit smaller, but I did get that. And then I got some white sharp cheddar cheese. I need this for a recipe. This is a two pound. I don't I think I only need about a pound, so I might be able to save this and make this same recipe again coming up later this month, but I did go ahead and get that. Then some sliced cheeses for specific things I have in mind. I got some provolone cheese, there's 12 slices here, and then I also got the Colby and Monterey Jack sliced cheese. Okay, so this, I was a little, I mean, not upset, but I just didn't understand why they didn't just do a substitution. So I had four different flavors of the Chobani flips in my cart because the Ibotta rebate, you have to buy four. Like there's a must, you must buy four to get the rebate. And I love these. So even though I'm not getting the rebate, it's fine. I get these anyway, <laughs> whether there's a rebate or not. But one of the flavors they didn't have, and I was like, why didn't you just substitute me for another flavor? <laughs> so I can get a little bit of cash back, but oh well. I do have three here, first world problems with grocery delivery, right? All right, so these are like my go-to. I really love these three flavors. I've had these several times, and if you didn't know what Chobani Flip is, it's yogurt, and then it has whatever the flavor is, like these extra little crunchies that you can add into your yogurt, like granola, that kind of thing. They are super yummy. So I got the Almond Coco Loco, the Salted Caramel Crunch, this is my number one favorite, and then these strawberry cheesecake. Oh, the fourth one was like the Harvest Crisp one, their seasonal one. So I did have that one in my cart, but I guess they could not find it. Then coming back here, 
I got three different kinds of Quest chips because we're doing like an appetizer spread on Sunday. And for some of the dips and stuff, I wasn't sure what flavor our special guest would enjoy the most. So I just went ahead and got a variety and she can try these out or just eat them on their own, whatever. So I got the ranch tortilla style protein chips. Quest again is the brand. I got the loaded taco and then I got the chili lime. And then I also got two boxes of frozen garlic breadsticks. We are getting into soup season now. So I've got a couple soups coming up and we love breadsticks with soup type dinners. And then the non-food item, our um, puppy Oliver has a virus and it is highly contagious. He's actually not with us right now. He's at the hospital um, just trying to wait until it's a little safer for him to be home because we do have other dogs and well, I was gonna say pets, but this virus is specific to dogs. We have other dogs in the house. So I wanted to go ahead and get a stronger like wet mop cloth to use on our floor before he comes back home. So um, I did have like the 24 pack. They didn't find it. So they just substituted me two of the 12 packs, same price. So I did get the Clorox disinfecting wet mopping cloth. It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria and it is bleach free. So it is safe to use. And you know, if the dogs are behind me licking or whatever, it's not going to hurt them. And then the scent is rain clean. So they don't really like when I mop, but just saying it is bleach free. So it's not going to hurt them. And it fits Swiffer sweeper mop heads, which is what I have when I'm doing like a quick mop. I also have a steam cleaner, but I did uh, want to use like the Clorox, a disinfecting um, mops this time for our floor. So that is it for our weekly a grocery haul to finish out some meals and snack items and things like that. So let's go ahead and get into our dinner meal plan. Okay, now I am sharing the meal plan and we are in my living room. Normally this is in part of my kitchen, but it's right here for now so I can still see it every single day and it helps me to stay on track. So this is for October 4th through the 10th and I just want to let you guys know that because I get a lot of questions about like how I meal plan and all that, I go ahead and write out the dates just so I see them. But that doesn't mean that we're having pizza casserole on Monday. It, it really just, I move things around quite often. Sometimes I do have the meals on the days that I write them down, but other times I just do what works best for us. If something comes up, and like I leave two days open, we end up eating out like last week on Tuesday, I believe I had Brenner. Well, we did not get to do that. I don't remember why it was super busy. Something happened. It got to be later than expected and we ended up having food delivered. So that that's just what happens. But we ended up having food from the house. We did not eat out on the weekend on the both days that I had free. So I just kind of move things around. I just like to have at least five meals on hand, fresh stuff included every single week. And that way I can do what works best for our schedule. So with that being said, <laughs> we have on the menu for this week, a pizza casserole, and then I'm just going to do a big salad on the side. We're going to have some taco stuffed zucchini boats. I've made different like flavorings in zucchini boats before. Um, don't do it that often, but every time I've made them, we absolutely love them. So I'm excited for this because it's been a hot minute since we've had some zucchini boats. Then we're gonna have a Tuscan chicken recipe and then we're just gonna have some broccoli on the side. See, like I have salad here, but then I have salad here. I'm gonna make sure I keep all of these three meals together. That way I'm just making one huge salad and we're eating it for two or three days, however much, um, however far we can stretch it. So I didn't realize that when I was just like writing them down. So I will make sure that we have everything with the salad together. All right, moving along, we're gonna have some minestrone soup one night. This is gonna be a crock pot meal. And then again, with the salad, I picked up those breadsticks. We love having breadsticks with a soup. And then I'm gonna make some homemade Alfredo, like a copycat Olive Garden. You know how you can get their Alfredo dipping sauce for their breadsticks? I'm gonna make that because I think that would be really, really good. And then we're also gonna have a creamy chicken tortellini soup with whatever leftover salad we have on the side. I made sure to get like extra breadsticks, two boxes, so we have a few. If not, it's not the end of the world because there is, 
you know, this is kind of like a thicker soup, not really like a dipping soup, like the minestrone soup. So if we don't have any leftover breadsticks, that's totally fine. The soup and the salad will definitely be um, filling enough. And then, like I already mentioned, I have been keeping the weekends free because, you know, things pop up, we end up going out, friends come over, that kind of thing. So um, I'm not planning. And if we have leftovers and I'm not eating leftovers for lunch and we still have um, you know, a big variety in the fridge, we will pull everything out and do that on the weekend. So that is what we have planned for this week. All right, you guys, so that is what we have planned for dinners for this week and what I picked up to add to what we already have on hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I do like to share a grocery haul about every Tuesday. Sometimes I'll have extras, sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller. It's just what we are getting for our family of six. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.